Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, I think everything went according to what I had predicted in Saturday uh, as far as with the Islanders. Um, if they were going to be down 2 nothing by the end of the first period and if they didn't score a goal in the second period, they were not going to win this game at this point, quite honestly. If they were, you know, if, if the Islanders scored the first goal, they would win, I would say. They didn't. They lost the game as expected. Now the question is how the Islanders react and come out of this, uh, sorry, Fourth game being now three down three one now, um, they're on the verge of elimination. Um, do they come back? Can they win this series? Quite honestly, I don't think so. It's more of a case where like it shows that the Islanders don't have the potential to win out when it comes to penalties or power. Uh, yeah, uh, as far as they, they give out a lot of penalties, but when it comes to power plays, it seems like the Islanders can't capitalize as much. The uh, Hurricanes can, and the Hurricanes are good defensively speaking. The point where you see there were a lot of turnovers here and there by the by the uh, by the Islanders to the Hurricanes. So and Salak, uh, 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 sorry, not Salak, um, to the point where like you know honestly everyone's thinking Barzil should be able to do this, but in reality, let's not forget. I mean, this is one of those things where I hate to say this, but um, the Islanders getting in here. I think that was my pure, absolute luck more than anything else, quite honestly. I mean, everyone says, whoa, 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 what? I'm like, let's let's put it blunt, basically. I mean, quite honestly, um, this was not a thing where, like, I think that the um, uh, that the Islanders could have done, came back and helped out in the long term, quite honestly. Because, quite honestly, this is something where, you know what? Looking at the stats right now, I mean, honestly... The Islanders had more, you know, about the same shots, but more penalties, of course, and penalty minutes. But you know what? The Hurricanes had power plays; they were able to get on, uh, and as well as the fact that, like, you know, the number of saves. Hurricanes had more saves. Hurricanes had more hits. The Islanders twenty giveaways compared to the nine that the Hurricanes have. How many giveaways did the Islanders give? As I said, and how many faceoff wins? At least the Islanders just barely beat them off in the faceoff, but that's probably towards the end of it anyway, so it doesn't matter, quite honestly. But at the same time, this is a case where I think, honestly, it's something that I didn't think the Islanders... I mean, I knew the Islanders were going to be good. It's just that Sorokin can only do so much, quite honestly. So this is a thing where I think, like I said, I think this has happened to be happenstance that the Islanders made the playoffs. Now, granted, I'm an Islanders fan... Uh, I really want them to win this series. I, I'm, I'm praying that they can come back and like win this series. You know, they're showing them their true grit and all that stuff. But honestly, I think this team is not there to the point where like Sorokin, this is something where he'll learn from this. Barzo, he'll learn from this as well too, coming in, going into next season. Because like they're not beating the Hurricanes, quite honestly. I wish they would, but they're not beating the Hurricanes. Quite honestly, I think the Hurricanes do take the next game. If the Islanders score the first goal, again, if they can score the first goal, and be up in the first period, then they can win the series. Then they can win that game. But uh, quite honestly, if it's tied, or if the Hurricanes are leading that series, leading that uh, at the end of the first period, or if the Hurricanes score, score the first goal, the Islanders are not winning that game. Uh, but in this case, like I said, I think this is a case where if the Islanders hope to c get anything out of this, it's a learning experience, learning belt. Sorokin basically can learn from this, gain some more momentum for next year. Same thing with Barzo. And I think more of a case where, like, this is a case where Islanders management need to, like, re-up the team and build on more of their defenses as well as uh, a little bit more on the offensive side of things, more than anything else. But out outside of that, I'll keep it with that in play. Um, l l let me know your thoughts. Do you think, you know, what happens here with Islanders? Should they be rebuilt? Should they be scrapped and rebuilt, building around Sorokin and Barzo? Or do they keep as is and hope for the free agency market to come out? Because, like, the Islanders are pretty old, quite honestly, compared to all the other teams that are out there. Uh, and also with the other aspect as well, too, is um, the way the coach is. I don't know if he's the right move or not, honestly. It's going to be hard to say what it is with the coach coaching staff. That's something that you might have to gut as well, too, quite honestly. I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, uh, you know, what your, what your thoughts are, what your comments are, what your... Uh, what your opinions are on that matter. Uh, but I'll leave it at that. Uh, again, uh, if, uh, sorry, not again, but in any case, uh, if you like my videos, like my content, uh, please subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, and also, and you know, when you subscribe, I should be able to, next time I'm at an analysis game, I will live stream it. Uh, and also, um, if you have any thoughts, comments, feedback, criticism, 
You're welcome to write in the comment section. I do look at my comments. I do read them and I do respond to them to the best of my ability. If they need require a response, um, hell, if you want to start a flame work, go for it. Start a flame work. I'm, I'm down for it as well too, quite honestly. But with that, I'll leave it at that. Um, uh, subscribe. I'm not going to say you should like or dislike. It's up to you if you want to dislike or dislike the video. Um, but with that, I'll leave it at that. Unfiltered, unedited, and unrehearsed. Until next time.